All right, here we are with our countertop installation for the nano filter. Now, for those of you who want to install this on your countertop, you must just love how this looks. And it's true, it's a beautiful, beautiful unit. I wouldn't want it on my countertop, but we're happy to show you how to do it if that's what you want. It will not come with the parts that you need to get this install done. So when you're ordering the Nano or if you've received it already and you've chosen to install it on the countertop, give us a call. We'll send you one of these. This is a faucet diverter. And basically what you do is you go to your faucet and you screw the tip off. There's a million types of faucets out there, and I don't know that your faucet's going to look anything like this. But no matter what, it's going to have a piece that screws off. It might be down inside the faucet that you have to look up under and get a pliers to pull it off. One thing you don't want to do is put a pliers like this on a chrome finish like this, because all you're going to do is scratch and damage it. So if you can't get it off by hand, what I recommend is you get yourself a washcloth or a rag, something like this, put it around the piece and then clamp your pliers and loosen it a little bit to where you can loosen it by hand. When you get the faucet diverter you'll notice that there's a ring installed on the top. This is for if you remove your cap and the threads in the end of your faucet are female. In this case, ours are male, so we want to remove this inner ring, take it out, set it to the side, and again, don't ever throw any extra parts out for anything that comes from us. Always put them in a Ziploc baggie and keep them for future use. You'll also notice there's a rubber ring on this handle here. This rubber ring is if you were using this insert, it would go on the top of the insert and then up into your faucet. Again, that's a part you're going to want to save. So you'll just take this adapter, screw it right onto the threads, again no tools needed, hand tight, and you'll notice that you have this barbed fitting. This should be facing straight back on your faucet, and we'll set it that way, straight back. The tube that feeds the nano filter. You can run it behind the filters like this. You see what I just did? I took the tube and slipped it behind all three filters. Of course if the nano is sitting on this side of the sink you won't need to do this but for our demonstration it's on the right side. You'll take this tubing. Now I'm not going to do it on this video because once you push this tubing over the barb it doesn't come off. It stays on there permanent. You actually have to cut the tubing to get it off. You take this tube and push it and you will have to use some pressure. Just push it on until it goes all the way on and it's touching the base of the faucet. And I'll just put it on just the first barb so everyone can see and then we'll take it and face it backwards. Now some people will get like a Ziploc bag tie or an even a Velcro strap and strap it to the faucet themselves. It's really not necessary, but whatever you need to make it look neat and tidy, feel free to do it. The black lever here on the tip, when it's facing downwards, you can use your faucet as normal and water will come straight down. When it's facing upwards, it's going to send the water over to your ionizer, uh, over to your nano filter, I'm sorry. So to use the nano filter now at this point, and I didn't go through all the connections. To see all the connections, go back to the first chapter under sink installation method and you'll see everything you need to do to get it to this point. So we've got our main water connection going in. On the back, if you'll remember from the first chapter, we have our clean water line, which is all the way on the right of the top filter. This is going to be supplying you your drinking water. And then you have this barrel fitting here. This is the drain water. All right, so I've got my drain line, I've got my clean line. 
the drain line will just get attached to the sink and we don't have one handy but we have a suction cup that this slips into and the suction cup will just adhere to the side of the sink and here we go this should come with your kit put it put the drain line into the suction cup suction it into the side of your sink and of course you're going to cut the hoses to length we're just leaving them long for the video and then the last line is your drinking line now since it's on the countertop this drinking line can feed an ionizer so this can go straight over to the ionizer if you have one of our older countertop ionizers that has the soft tubing you'll need a connection kit to connect this tube to the soft tube it's always good when ordering to specify which one you need so we can send you the parts in advance without you having to order them afterwards or you can do this connection that we showed in the last chapter and this will be connected here and believe it or not some people just leave this sitting on top of the filter when they're doing a countertop install and when they need their water they just pull this off and open it and fill their containers again this is designed to go under the sink so if anybody thinks this is a kooky then we're just trying to accommodate the people mostly apartment owners people that think they're going to move they don't want to do a permanent install under the sink and so they choose the countertop installation it's a lot simpler when this is connected into an ionizer because then the ionizer can just run right off of there so again to turn this on and to have it running you'd open your cold here make sure the lever is sideways here it will send pressure to this line and if this line is connected to a faucet then you also need to open this faucet the water will not turn on until you open this faucet that's pretty much it for the countertop installation of the nano now let's on let's move on to the next chapter